Well, here we go. It is tournament day at uh, Beyond Odyssey in Balcatta, north of the river in Perth, Western Australia. And uh, I got in early and I got to have another look at the boards before we all got set up and started gaming. And trust me, they looked fucking spectacular start to finish. So there's going to be 20 people at this tournament. That's 10 tables, that's three games of pop, and there's going to be winners and prizes for best painted, best uh, player, best sportsmanship, best cat, best dog, best leviathan, um, and best cap. You know, the fucking, the whole ring roll, it is just going to be spectacular. Um, yeah, the tables look brilliant. Uh, thank you very much to Nick and all the crew at Beyond Odyssey. I've been looking forward to this bloody tournament for months. Um, I played on that table, Whee. but yeah, just have a goosey at these things, these is all set up to the freaking nth standard, and uh, yeah, you just tell they make a fucking great effort, so yeah, let's get into it, this is going to be a quick video just on the competition, they're going to do armies on parade and a couple of vids, I'll do me battles in the later vid, but just, yeah, enjoy the looks, enjoy the freaking vibe, and fucking game on, let's play some Horus Heresy, fuck yeah. Righto, armies on parade. First off, we've got Scott's horrendous world eaters. I've faced these a few times and they are fucking brutal at the best of times. And they're just getting more fucking savage every fucking time I see them. They're well painted, well put together, and they're led by a ruthless warlord. It's absolutely spectacular. Oh, God, them predators look fucking good. Um, yeah, just spectacular start to finish. Just a marvellous bloody arm. Next up is Joseph's Sons of Horus Armoured Spearhead. Now, these are sharp, they're fucking crisp, they're fucking lethal, and you can never have enough armour. Uh, look at them, Scorpiuses, they've got Leviathans, bloody, a whole freaking wing of bloody uh, Predators there, and just the right amount of freaking evil. I fought them in the last game, and they were mint, they were hard. It was an absolutely fucking rock-hard army. Look at that standard. The man's put a lot of hours into this, and it fucking shows they are just marvelous to look at and brilliant to play against in third place is tom's uh, imperial fist army and i was told these were a right tick to get out of uh they had a shield unit here which had a repeat and four up invul and i think that's them there and uh, as you can see auto cannons leviathans with auto cannons just a fucking nightmare apocrythes everywhere what a fucking solid bloody list this is. I'm just happy he didn't bring his cast of herms with them conversion beamers. Otherwise, just would have bloody wiped just about everything off the table. A nice, solid, hard fucking working list. And uh, yeah, it uh, definitely does the business. Straight after that, we got some more Imperial Fists. These are Tom's, and he won the best painting part of the uh, the competition this with this army. And look at these. These fucking colours are so bright and so sharp, you'd bloody slice your finger open on if you fucking pick the cunts up. They are just marvellous to look at, and a strong list too. Well, anything with two Scorpiuses is strong. But have a look at those whites from them, Apocrythes. And, of course, Imperial Fists, Auto Cannon, Hand in Fist. It's a lovely looking army. Next in this cavalcade of pain is Kai's uh, World Eaters. Now, I faced these in my first game, and they were a pain in my ass. He had a unit here with chain swords, uh, sorry, chain axes, hitting at strength 10, um, and, you know, close combat Leviathan, dedicated close combat Leviathan, dedicated shooty Leviathan, Contemptor and a bloody Proteus, and just the World Eater freaking aggression. It was a really hard thing, a really hard game. Ty's contribution to the tournament was a mecha mixed Mechanicum and Solar list. And uh, this was this was by far one of my uh, favourite lists. Ty's brilliant part to play if you ever get the opportunity. But, uh, yeah, he, this was just spectacular. The colour schemes all matched up. It was just, you know, bloody night there. And, um, and a, and a thalax and a couple of these little fucking floating things and, ah, oh, Domitar there. Just beautiful, beautiful army. I'm so upset I never got to play it because it just looked so spectacular. And look at all them troops. You can't go wrong with that absolute fuck ten of troops. It was just, yeah, beautiful army to see. Really sad I didn't get to play it. 
Right, the only Alpha Legion uh, army on the on game day was uh, this one. This one is Jim's. Now, I don't know a hell of a lot about Al Alpha Legion other than, like, uh, they're always further away than you expect, and if you shoot something, he can go, nah, mate, nah, nah, you didn't shoot it. That thing's over there. And, that you know, they you just shift an entire unit six inches or eight inches to the right. But, um, yeah, they're sneaky, they're hard, and uh, very popular. I'm surprised I only saw the one uh, one army of them today. Next up is this White Scars army from BAM. Now, these are one of the most thematic uh, armies I've seen. I mean, look at that dude there, standing on his jet bike, swinging a hammer with a power claw. What a fucking boss. These were absolutely spectacular. I mean, I can't imagine how much this would have cost him to put together. Jet bikes, jet bikes, and the old jet bikes, and the new jet bikes, and the new fucking jet cars. Oh, yeah, look. Look at the uh, blood splatter on them. They were just, they were so good. This, uh, this army, without without doubt, makes me smile every time I look at it. That's how much I just, I just dig it. I really just dig this army. It is so good. There's so many hidden details to see. And now we get to some of the good guys. And what could be better than a good old bunch of sallies? Now, these are marks, and they are crisp. Like a freaking, like a chip straight out of a packet. You know, they got a bite to them. Look at them. They are, the colours are nice and uniform. Beautiful shading. It's just, they, I like them. I like them a lot. I reckon they're just really, really good. I don't know a fucking thing about them. I've never fought them. But I fucking definitely dig the colour scheme. And I definitely dig the theme of the army. And now it's time for some grotty boys. These are Steve's Death Guard. Um, those, uh, I, you know, I always won a fucking uh, painting competition with these before. And, um, yeah, you get up close to them and you can bloody see why. They are just spectacular up close. Um, you know, and who who doesn't love a stinky man carrying a heavy, with units of heavy weapons just marching relentlessly up the board, just laying waste to all and sundry in front of them. That's just a Fucking tip-top concept of an army right there. And, uh, yeah, this one doesn't disappoint visually at all. And here we're Iron Warriors making an appearance. These are Levi, Levi's, and he's um, he's the only one who bought a fortification. You see that fucking wall there? That's a pain in everyone's ass. They're uh, solid. What can you say about Iron Warriors? It ain't already been said. They move forward. They shoot. They freaking suck up fucking casualties, and they're just a fucking hard fucking army to move. And, you know, freaking they look great. Black, yellow, and silver. Can't fucking complain about that. Um, just tape them up, mask them up, and let's go. Now, this is Tom P's uh, Mech Guard Army, and it was absolutely spectacular. Just look at the size of it. Every unit was painted. Everything was done. And just reckon grasp the concept of having... That bigger army just painted down to brass nubs. It was spectacular. It was just, yeah, everyone just stood around and gawped in awe at the freaking size and magnificence of this army. It was just brilliant. Oh, I, 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 I wouldn't even know where to start fighting it. Tanks, troops, big bloody things, little bloody things. I don't know what half the units were, but every single thing looked spectacular and fucking terrifying. Sean's Iron Warriors are next billing, and they looked great. You get in nice and close, and these it shows a hell of a lot of detail, a lot of attention to detail on the uh, faces and the armour. And uh, his list was fucking well put together too, by the looks of it. He's got them fucking nasty sniping las cannons up there. I don't know what the unit are. I haven't played Sean against it, but I have been in the wrong end of that fucking unit, and they suck. They must be awesome for the player using them, but they suck to cop them. And, you know, Leviathan, you can't go wrong with that. And it's just these, I don't know what metal car paint he's used, but it really does bring out a good sheen. Okay, this is Liam's Empress Children, and it was a very well put together. Had Lucius the Eternal running it, and um, yeah, freaking, it was just a well balanced, well put together list. Couple of contemptors, a uh, couple of jet bikes, Lucius the Eternal, a couple of those big ass freaking, um, what are they? Bloody, the Fant Tartaruses. And uh, yeah, if, if Lucius hadn't tripped on his own swords and in charge, he would have won the game. I know it for a fact. Now, these are Drew's Empress children. He's got uh, Laz cannons, a couple of uh, Castiferums with plasmas, some auto cannons, and a tank. Um, and a couple of assault marines. Oh, 
It's just a hard list. Drew is one of those players that the more you play, the better you learn. Um, and he's just one of those fellas that I strive to beat one day. He's just that good. He's nothing but a pleasure to play. Um, and you learn so much every time you fucking roll dice against this fella. And his lists reflect that. Aaron's made a list after my own heart. Troops, 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 and more troops. All of them just beautifully painted. Spectacular, paste, freaking done to a T. Looking a bit weather-worn, but fucking very definitely loved and well put together army. Oh my goodness, there's, no, there's something that's just about having lots of troops. It just tickles my fancy. And he's freaking done it with this, uh, these freaking very, very specky army. Love the Contemptor pointing out his next victim too. That just looks mint. Just a good army. Just just tippy-top. Friggin' uh, don't know how he went, but I certainly like it. And the last one was uh, Adrian's uh, Blood Angels before they got given to Sanguinius or Sanguinus, the, um, the fellow with the wings. Now, apparently, these were cannibals and savages and barbarians, you know, eating the flesh of those who they defeated. And, um, yeah, the painting style really reflects that. I genuinely didn't know you could go down this route with Horus Heresy, and um, it fucking looked so mint. It opens up quite a few avenues for me, I reckon. But, yeah, just fantastic to look at. Just the brutality of it fucking stands out like dog's balls. I love it. I fucking do. Yeah, so that was Armies on Parade. Now, in a couple of days' time, I'll put up some more bloody videos of my actual fights and what I'm up to, just a normal Horus Heresy Ultramarines from scratch update. But uh, yeah, until then, just enjoy some photos of the, uh, of the day. And thank you very much once again to Nick, Beyond Odyssey, everyone who worked there, everyone who turned up, everyone we played. It was just spectacular. There were winners. There were winners in, in categories, but there were fucking no losers. Everyone who turned up just went out and just had a great time. And, uh, yeah, it fucking shows. I came out there grinning from ear to ear. It was just spectacular start to finish. All right, well, uh, yeah, so just a couple little photos of bits and bobs that, as the day went through. Um, you all take care of yourselves. I love the lot of you. Just take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you all later. Give the missus a kiss. Cheerio.